Babe, I need $20. Time I save some lunch money. You find a way to get it. Perfect. <sighs> All right, time to go shopping. Hey, my babes. I'm Unique D, and I'm so happy you are here with me. We are doing my first ever official collaboration with Sweet Life of Queen. She invited us all to create a dish for Friendsgiving under $20. So we already secured the bag from hubby. We're gonna take that 20 bucks and we are gonna go get ingredients for our fall salad. I know you're like, okay, salad for Thanksgiving, we could do without it, <laughs> but it's really a good salad, guys. So if that's really not your thing, just give it a second. Let's make it and then see how you feel about it. Most of the people in the Friendsgiving collab are doing sweet treats and I honestly did wanna make a dessert, guys. I wanted to make a sweet potato cheesecake but for the life of me, I kept pricing and writing things out and I could not get those ingredients under $20. Vanilla extract is expensive. <laughs> so with that ingredient alone, and then also doing the sweet potatoes, cream cheese and all the other stuff, and I really wanted to drizzle some caramel on top and maybe do some whipped cream, it wasn't happening. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to do this salad that I really enjoy. Um, it's good all year round, but it's really a good fall salad because it's got the dried cranberries in it. We're gonna go get those ingredients from Walmart and then we are gonna come back, make the salad, eat it and enjoy it. Make sure you check the comments because I have all the other channels listed in the collab below. You can click the link to their channel and then you can find their friends giving video. I highly recommend because some of these recipes, I am like so impressed that they did that for under 20 bucks and I <laughs> gotta learn how to shop better. These friends came with it. Let's make this not so traditional Friendsgiving dish and go get these ingredients for the salad. First things first, let's pick some greens. I kinda like the organic spring mix. For the salad I'm making, you can either use feta, blue cheese, or goat. I really like blue cheese, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use goat cheese today. Here we are, it is only $2.88, so we'll use the goat today. 58 cents for our one lemon. We're gonna need that to keep the apple fresh. Okay, Honeycrisp, $1.97 a pound. Okay, $1.36 a pound. Even better, $1.27 a pound. Let's grab one of these. We are just under a pound. I went ahead and got two just to be safe. One red onion, we really only need a half. Let's get our red onion. Our onion is just over a half a pound, so it'll probably be about a dollar. Dijon to make the dressing, and the cheapest one is gonna be the great value, so I can barely reach up there, but we're gonna get the great value Dijon. It looks like they are completely out of one of the main ingredients. So let me tell y'all how much I love my friends, and I am serious about Friendsgiving. They are out of the cranberry and um, the almond mix that I wanted to put in the salad. So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my butt to another Walmart. So let's cash out here, see how much we spent, and then we'll go to the other Walmart and finish getting the ingredients. Just to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the apple cider vinegar and the classic olive oil which is the cheapest one i really want to get the extra version but we're trying to stand under 20 bucks so we'll get the classic we got all the ingredients except for one and we are at 17.53 i'm kind of nervous i know it seems crazy to go clear across to another walmart for one item but like i said i am dedicated and i'm a standard is twenty dollars but i've got to pick up some garbage bags and i'm gonna stop and see tony on his lunch break which um is on the way anyway so it's not too bad but let's see if we can find what we need so we can go home and make this salad <laughs> walmart number two let's get this one ingredient and get out of here okay i found the last item but i'm gonna have him scan it just to make sure Let's see. Oh, yes, 212. Okay, we can afford it. Thank you. Babe, if you watch this, a ice maker is on my Christmas list or my Black Friday list, whichever one we can get it cheaper. All right, here's our quick little haul. These are all the ingredients we're going to need. So let's start cutting this stuff up and making this salad. I really like red onions. So I cut the onion up um, a little bit more than half. You probably could use just half. And then I took the apple tossed it around in some lemon juice from that lemon that I bought 
just to keep it from turning too brown. The salad package does say rinsed and dried and ready to eat, but if I trusted that, I wouldn't be able to use my salad spinner. So I'm gonna pop the lid on and then wring this baby out. All right, let's spin. Well, actually, it's almost impossible to do while I'm holding the camera. So I'm gonna spin and I'll be back. All right, I just popped the, um, the bowl part out and I'm gonna go ahead and use the same bowl to make the salad in. And now is the fun part. We're gonna make the homemade dressing. Okay, in the comments, let me know if y'all feel like I cheated because I did not include the salt, pepper, and sugar into the cost because I figured those would be kind of like household items. But I wanted to be fair because not everybody has um, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, or Dijon at home. But we are gonna need the salt, pepper, and sugar to make the dressing. So let's get to making it. I'm using a mason jar, but honestly, whatever you got is just fine. As long as you can pop a lid on it, an old pickle jar or whatever type of container you got. You want to have more oil than vinegar. So I got about four tablespoons of the olive oil and then about two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar. I added in the Dijon and the sugar, about a tablespoon and a half of each. And I put some salt and pepper in there. Salt and pepper um, to taste. So not really too much, but I say with those being the screw tops, I probably screwed the top maybe five or six times each. And I think it's fine, but it could, I mean, it could probably use just a little bit more pepper. If it's tasting a little bit too sweet, go ahead and put some more apple cider vinegar in it. And if it's too tangy, you can put a little bit more sugar or a little bit more oil. Just, you know, play around with it until it's to your liking. I added in all the ingredients. I put about half a pack of the cranberries and pecans. Yes, I got the cranberry and pecans. I added those in and I definitely forgot about the goat cheese and I added the goat cheese in and I'm about to drizzle it with the dressing. Let's go. Homemade vinegar egg. Put this whole thing on there. I can make more if I need to. That goat cheese look like um look like marshmallows. It usually don't look like that. That may be the brand, but it should taste good. So let's see. Let's get it tossed up. All right, y'all. It is all nice and mixed up. Super easy homemade dressing. If y'all are willing to give this recipe a try, let me know in the comments. And if you do try it, let me know how you like it. I'm about to dive in. I'm probably gonna put a little bit of black pepper over the top. If there's some things you would omit or add, let me know that too. Family, I am not exaggerating when I say this is the best salad I have ever had, the best one I have ever made. Make that salad dressing. If y'all don't do nothing else, if y'all don't repeat the salad recipe, make that salad dressing and put it on whatever type of salad you like. But I'm telling you, this salad is bomb. <laughs> I had to go get my son to make him try it to make sure I wasn't crazy. I'm like, is this salad really that good? It's that good. So let me know if you guys are willing to try the recipe. Make sure you go and check out everybody else's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. I will see you in the next one. So good. Like so good. Mm. Oh, yeah.